morning. On our way to go and pick up Tom, we're gonna be flying out to Paris to go and visit MRC France, KSF. Now we are heading to KSF. Yeah, KSF. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Hey guys, um, my name is Luke. I'm here with Forge Motorsport. My colleague Tom um, has also come along. He's one of the CAD designers. We've been doing some work in Great Britain, doing some testing, working with Litchfield, using their dyno on a right hand drive vehicle. Now, we've come out to KSF in Paris to test the same 3D print on a left-hand drive vehicle. So that's a left-hand drive RS38V and an RS38Y. Now, the purpose of our journey um, to come here is to make sure that the prototype, the 3D print, fits on a left-hand drive vehicle, clears the master cylinder, etc. Now, once we're happy with that and we've done the fitting, the testing, we're gonna get Frank, the owner of MRC France, to put the car on the dyno and again, do some further development. Make sure it's creating power. Really stoked to be here. Thanks to KSF, thanks to Ian Litchfield. Let's get on, get testing. Tonight's a race car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. We are heading to our Airbnb. Yeah, Ho hopefully, hopefully, yeah. We're going to try and find where we're going to reside for the evening. This is going to be this. Is going to find out. Yeah. Oh, are we stuck? Vous n'avez rien enregistré. Pour écouter l'annonce de notre correspondant, tapez 1. Call the number. We've lost in French. We've lost in French. You're probably wondering how I ended up in this situation. You just have to scroll. Yeah. Parfait. Merci. We're inside the apartment. Thank you for your help. Like, yeah, I'm sure it was working. I know, that's why I chose the yellow room. Morning day two in day two. Paris. Paris. Yeah. And we are heading to get some Food for lunch. And we will be heading to KSF. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you. 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 Thank We arrived yesterday. Now we've successfully fitted the 3D prints. We're really happy with how they fit. Tom has done a great job with the scanning, collating the data, making sure that every little part of the space available has been used. Today, we've come back this morning. Um, we've got the RS3 on the dyno. KSF just had a new dyno fitted. This is a dyno jet. We're going to start running it up and we're going to test stock and we're going to test with our intake. So let's go and give Frank a shout, get the car fired up and start doing some power runs.
Cars on the dyno. We're improvising a bit here. We're using one of our 3D prints as the microphone. Okay, so we've fitted it. The airbox, aluminium airbox is in place. We're using two different couplers on the lower part. Now that's gonna be so we can go from a three and a half inch to a four inch inlet elbow. That will accommodate the USA guys with the left hand joys where they can get a, a bigger volume elbow in there. I'm gonna quickly pass you to Tom. So Tom is just gonna explain what we've done, how we've done the scanning, um, and the reasons for doing it in the UK and here in France. So this is our second visit over to KSF. So the guys have been super accommodating for us. What it's meant is that when we came a few months ago, we were able to do 3D scanning of the 8V and 8Y. We could then obviously take that data and then we could compare it to what we, uh, what we captured in the UK. The biggest challenge really of this entire project was the brake master cylinders. Um, so not only we've got the difficulties, obviously the left-hand drive and right-hand drive, the brake master cylinder changes position. Also the brake master cylinder itself changes between the RS3 8V and the RS3 8Y. And what we've had to do is obviously use all that 3D scan data, overlay between the 8V and 8Y, both the left-hand drive and right-hand drive, so four kind of major versions there, and then add up the design work from there. So as always, what we try and do is make the, the biggest and most flowing intake we can do. Um, and not only that, we can make it so it accommodates all of those different variations of the kind of the same vehicle. Um, so with the brake master cylinder changing as well, as, as Luke mentioned, it means we can also go for bigger turbo inlets on the left-hand drive. Because they don't have the master cylinder there, they can get the big four-inch turbo elbows. And then our design can accommodate for that. So we've got a really, a really trick design here. Basically means we can go from three inch being the stock, three and a half inch being ILH9, which is our um, larger turbo inlet for the right hand drive market and left hand drive market. And then also anyone else, if they've got anything that's a little bit bigger, we can accommodate it. That means that this intake is going to be able to work not just with your stock vehicles, stage one, two, three, onwards. Um, it means that we can basically have one fit all. Huge six inch cone filter on this side. Again, meaning we can get as much air in as possible, going all the way down, as we mentioned, to the three, three and a half and four inch on the other side. Um, won't come with the gold tape unless you want to. This has just been put on for this 3D printed prototype. Basically mean we can actually do some performance testing before we can push through and get it manufactured out of carbon fiber. And that will be the end result. Really, really happy with it. It looks fantastic in the engine bay. I just wanted to sort of mention, okay, this vehicle is 100% stock. Now, we have got an intercooler for this vehicle. That's FM INT33. That is 33% bigger than our intercooler FM INT4 that was on the previous 8V generation. We're really looking forward to getting some good results. The intercooler drops the IATs massively. However, the software for these vehicles hasn't been fully cracked. So once they've cracked the software, um, as Tom mentioned, stage one, two, three plus vehicles, we're gonna further test the intake um, and see how far we can push it. Right, so we've done the testing. If we look at the values, so these are, these are peak values, okay? So five horsepower peak, and we've got the 20, 20-ish um, Newton meters at peak. But where we want to concentrate is right here, okay? Right there, 3,000 RPM. That's about 20 horsepower there, okay? And in terms of Newton meters, we've got a little bit more. We're probably about 27 Newton meters, again at 3,000. So as we explained when we're at Ian Litchfields, these values, they're, they're what you're gonna feel as the driver. Um, so when you put your foot down, that's what puts you in the back of the seat. It's what gives you the punch. So on a stock vehicle, we're, we're really, really happy with that. You know, again, just can't wait till they, till they unlock the ECUs. We'll get the finished design of, of the intake and our current elbow FM INL H9 to Frank, and he can continue modifying his Audi RS3. We just got to say thanks to people in the tuning industry who help us out. So it's, it's a really big thank you to, to Frank at KSF, MRC France, again, Litchfield. Um, you know, we're, we're working with some of the best tuners in the industry. So 
hope you guys are going to be excited to receive the Forge Motorsport intake. Really glad that we've now got the opportunity to supply you guys, the American market, the German market, you know, all the left-hand drive users with a superb um, product, you know, manufactured in Great Britain. We've put lots of design into this, super stoked. Can't wait to get it to you. So keep an eye for the intake, it's release date. Anything you need for, for IUDs, don't hesitate to contact us. We'll give you as much as our advice as we can and um, carry on tuning, guys. We're now, we're packing up our stuff, putting it back in a box, gonna send it back to Forge UK headquarters and we can push the button on the manufacturing. So we're gonna get the billet tool in made and we're gonna start getting some um, composite items underway. Done. So, and now, yeah, really, really good. Happy, happy results again. Beautiful weather in Paris. Yep. Now we've got, we... got ourselves some fluid, bit of, bit of a bit of rehydration in there. And we are gonna head off back to the airport to yep. um, sunny old Britain. Carry on with the manufacture and creating some more performance parts. Good. All right.